Hello, I wanted to create this video to instruct the staff members in the Eau Claire Public School District as to how to remove an iOS device from their iCloud settings. As it turns out, uh, we have a large number of staff members in the school district who have their iPads registered to an iTunes account uh, that is also at that point attached to a personal email address and not a corporate email address. So that creates a certain problem for um, us uh, when staff members leave, uh, when they retire or they move on to a different job somewhere else and the iOS device, the iPad in this case, is connected to the staff members personal email address and there's no way for us to remove that. So I'm hoping this video will be instructional for people um, so that they can remove our uh, school district iPads from their personal iTunes accounts. And so what you want to going to want to do to be able to do this is to go to iCloud.com iCloud.com is the, the web interface for all of your iCloud settings. Um, if you've forgotten your um, iCloud or your iTunes uh, username or password, um, you can find help in this little help up here. Uh, also down here you see where it says forgot ID or password. Uh, you can find uh, at iforgot.apple.com you can reset your Apple ID password which is going to be the same um, credential that you use to get into iCloud. For example, this is my personal email address um, and my iTunes password um, and I can use that to get into iCloud. Assuming that you know yours you can log in and you see I'm right here um, and you've got all of these options. A lot of these um, uh, contain uh, things that your iOS device backs up automatically to the iCloud. Uh, it might be uh, cool for you to check out uh, some of this stuff but for the purposes of this video we're going to click on find my iPhone um, and in Find My iPhone, it's going to start to look for iOS devices that are connected to this iTunes, this Apple account. Uh, it's not going to find any. Um, so when it fails out here in a second, um, I'll show you what to do next to remove a device um, from your iCloud slash Apple slash iTunes account. Um, once it fails out, um, if it fails out, maybe it won't fail out, maybe it'll find um, a device in your case, you want to click on all devices and it will show the devices that you have attached to your iCloud account. You see the only device here uh, for my account is an old iPhone uh, that I no longer use, um, but if I clicked on that device, um, it gives me this specific interface for that iOS device. Um, and at the very bottom, it has this remove from account option. Um, if you click on that, it's going to give you this warning that says this iPhone is linked to your Apple ID. Removing this iPhone will allow it to be activated and used by another person. This is exactly what we need people to do who have left the school district uh, but who have our iOS devices still attached to their iCloud slash Apple account. Um, clicking remove, which I'm not going to do because this phone's actually at home on my treadmill. Uh, clicking remove is going to remove the device uh, and that's what we need to have people do. So, assuming that, that, assuming that you click on remove, I obviously can't show you what that's going to end up looking like, but um, eventually you're going to go up to your account, uh, your name up here, and sign out uh, and then you'll be logged out of iCloud.com a uh, close your browser. Uh, we need to have people do this who have uh, our iOS devices attached to their i 
iTunes slash Apple slash iCloud account. Um, so thank you very much for watching the video. I hope that helps.